Hi everyone, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and welcome back to my first video of... T no, actually, you know what? I don't think it is. It might be actually posted in 2022, but I feel like my 22 planner lineup was kind of technically the first video. I don't really know. Anyway, it is my planner kit lineup for January 2022, which is so exciting. It's a new year, a new planner, and I just... I feel like there's just such good vibes at this time of year. Like, starting a new planner is just so fun. Like, you, if you know, you know. For me, it means I am going to be starting two planners. So I'm going to have my A5 Wide Blossom normal, like, personal planner that I use for, like, memory keeping. And then I'm going to have a filming planner, which is my spiral from OK Plans, um, that I use mainly to try and move through some kits that I've just been sitting on for years at this point and also to have some content to film so I am going to be showing both of those in this video I don't know if I'm going to be doing that every single time like I haven't decided yet but I'm going to be showing both in this video to start so the first week is the week of the 27th of December through the 2nd of Jan so I am including that in this video I also included it in last month's video um, because I did a spread to finish off that planner and then I do the same week in my new planner to start it off. So starting off with my filming planner I am using this Celestial kit from Glam Planner. I'm not sure of the exact name. It is the art from Celeste Studio from last year. Um, I used the version from Caress Press last year in my well, this year I get for 2021 I used it um, and then I also had this version from Glam Planner which didn't come in in time um, so I decided to save it and use it for this year so these are the full boxes and it's just the most beautiful kit like honestly I love it so much if I didn't already like have used it this year I probably would use it again in my main planner because I love the art that much um, but yeah, so these are the Fashion Girls glitter headers, the extra add-on boxes. So I'll probably, I'll definitely use this Happy New Year and then maybe one of the kids, I don't know. The, which way does it go? That way. The double box and then the label sampler. So I honestly love this kit so much and I cannot wait to use it again. Um, I'm going to be using leftover bits of... Where is it? Actually, I'm going to put it together with that now. Um, the gold sparkly hollow foil from this year and from last year. I have a little bit of leftovers, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, from Mainly from Sticker Guru, I think, and then a bit of Planet Choco as well. So um, I'm going to be using that. Love that. Can't wait to use it. Next is the week of January 3rd through the 9th, um, and for me, January is summer, by the way, so that just to explain it. Um, it is the week of my 10-year, or our 10-year anniversary, so I'm using this beach or summer celebration, what's it called? Beach Birthday from Pink Diamond, um, and it is, as it suggests, like a beach summer celebration kit. I thought it was literally perfect for this occasion um, and I just oh, I can't wait to use this one as well I feel like my summer lineup is just the colors are so bright and fun and I just am really excited so yeah this is the kit um, I am pairing it with actually I have the 15 millimeter as well and some extra boxes and I'm pairing it with um, some pink foil from Caress Press and Scribble Prints Co. So I've got some bow overlays, a few headers, um, some more overlays, and then these star ones. So my plan in this planner is to, like I'm not using any foil bundles really, I'm more just using some like leftover foil sheets that I've had in the past because I generally don't tend to reach for those um, anymore. Also, I forgot, I've got to keep the front page out of all the kits so I can take my thumbnail <laughs> photo at the end of this. Um, let me just grab that one. There we go. Okay. 
Next is the week of January 10th through the 16th and I am using this Scribble Prints Co. May 2021 Mystery. Um, this is like a pool theme. I do like the art but I don't love the colours and it just got squeezed out of my main lineup. So um, that's the point of this planner is instead of it sitting in my binder for next year and then most likely I wouldn't use it because next year's art came out um, is to like use kits and stop hoarding them. So I'm excited. I'm excited I still get to use it um, in a kind of timely fashion. I haven't pulled out any foil for this yet because I really don't know what to use. Um, maybe I'll use some leftovers of the orange soda bundle that it came with that I ended up using with something else. Maybe I'll pull in the leftovers of that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Then for the week of Jan 17th through 23rd, I am using this April Mystery from Pink Diamond and it is a outdoor movie night theme. Um, I thought this was like the perfect summer kit. Um, I just couldn't find a spot for it in my main planner mainly because of these colours. They're just a little bit like dull and boring to me whereas I want my summer spreads to be really bright and loud and colourful. So. I just couldn't find a spot, even though I really liked the art, it just, yeah, didn't quite fit in with the, like, the theme of the rest of my kits. And then I'm pairing it with silver foil, so I've got a bow, I've got some glitter strips, I've got some overlays, more overlays, more overlays, some headers, and then more headers. So just some leftover bits and bobs. Don't know exactly what I'm going to pull in, but I like to just keep it all together. And then finally for this video, in this planner, the week of Jan 24th through the 30th, I'm using the Summer 2021 Mystery from Glam Planner. Again, I like it. I just don't like it enough to find a spot in my... So, so just... To put some context in, um, I get the second week of January to the end of Feb and not counting Valentine's Day. So it's like I get six weeks of summer kits. So I really have to be so like picky about which ones I want in my main plan and which ones I don't. So sometimes even though I really, really like some kits, they just don't fit in for whatever reason and... This is one of them. This one I don't love the art as much, but I love the colours. Um, but again, I just couldn't fit it in because I don't love everything about it. Essentially, if you are a summer kit and you're in my main lineup, it's because I love everything about it. Um, it came with gold, uh, not gold, glitter hollow overlays. Um, I've got, oops, that's not from there. Glitter headers, label sampler double box fashion girls and then more fashion girls so again i really like the kit i just cannot fit it in because i don't love it so that is january in my plan with me or second planner now let's move on to my main planner which you know it's my favorite these are like my favorite favorite kits so Going back to the week of January, sorry, December 27th through January 2nd, which is New Year's, I am using this kit from Glam Planner. That's not Glam Planner, that's Caress Press. Um, and it is using Celise Studio Art, of course. I, I just love her. So this is the kit here. I love this balloon pattern so, 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 so much. So I did have a really, really cool foil pairing in mind. However, I had a major issue with the shop um, that I bought, purchased half of the foil from and it's definitely not getting here in time. I've written it off and I've got to come up with a plan B. So half of it is this silver glitter from Planner Choco. 
Um, I got the quotes, the fireworks, and then some confetti stuff. And then I was going to be pulling in rose gold sparkle, but it's just not going to happen. So I don't have a lot of rose gold foil, even if I wanted to pull in rose. Um, I went through my foil binder last night and I just could not find anything that matched. So I'm having a bit of a crisis. I don't know what I'm going to use with this as yet, aside from this um, extra um, foil. So, I mean, honestly, at this point, who knows? I really, I don't know what I'm going to use and I'm stressed about it. So next is the week of January 3rd through the 9th. And I am using, oops, I've got extras going everywhere. I am using, dun, 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 dun. oh, this is our 10 year anniversary week. So I'm using this kit from Glam Planner because I just feel like it is the most romantic, summer, light, airy kit I have ever seen. It is Celeste Studio Art. It's called Golden Hour. And as soon as I saw this, I just knew. Like, look at these colours. Yes, it is not actually an anniversary, a wedding, a love kit. However, it is just the most beautiful, soft, airy, romantic kit. As I said, I just love it. So, I've got heaps of extras for this one. I've got this beautiful double box. Incredibly beautiful fashion girls. Extra boxes, glitter headers, label sampler. It came with rose gold um, foiled overlays. And then I decided I wanted to do champagne lights. Um, I thought was the perfect combination. So I'm going to do a mixed metal of rose gold, pink, no. Glam Planner's rose gold is rose gold. So rose gold and champagne lights, which is going to be pretty wild but i think it's gonna be worth it so we'll see well i hope anyway next is the week of january 10th through the 16th and i am using the pride pool party kit from spc so obviously it was released in june and june is pride month however i think it's a bit weird using a pool party kit in winter so I decided to save it and use it in summer instead because I obviously still want to um, use it I love it I um, still want to show my support but I just felt weird using it in winter so this is it here it is very similar to the um, pool party kit I'm using in my other planner which is why I decided ultimately to Nix that one because I liked this one better um, and obviously this one has more of a meaning um, and I love it. I'm really excited. I am using rainbow foil of course. Um, this rainbow star format bundle is just one of my favorites. I've used it a few times now um, and I love it. And then I just had a couple of little extras from Sticker Guru so I have these rainbows, these quotes, rainbow headers and then these like love winds in rainbow foil as well so this spread is going to be very busy I can feel it but I am here for it I think it's going to be so worth it and can't wait to use it then we're on to the week of the 17th through the 24th and what have I got oh this is beautiful wait why don't I have it oh I do have foil okay this is probably my favourite actual art for the, like, my favourite summer art from last year or this year. Um, and it is the Tranquil Art from Celeste Studio. Um, it's just so well drawn and I just love it so much. The colours. Um, so I know I said I like my kits to be bright and fun in summer. This is the perfect example of colours that aren't bright but also aren't dull and boring like that other kit. So... I got the Fashion Girls, they got a bit mangled where I remember when they got sent from the States so that's why they look like that. Um, my extras and then I've decided to pair it with the gold um, leaf bundle from Caress Press. I just think the leaves um, is just the perfect choice to go with this. 
feel like I'm getting through this really quickly. Normally, um, my what is it called? Kit lineup video it takes forever, but I'm just like motoring through. I'm proud of myself. And then finally for January, for the week of the 24th through the 30th, I am using, I think from memory, this was the August mystery. I could be wrong though, from Glam Planner. And I absolutely love this. Like this is so fun. This is like a take on that retro theme that has been done quite a bit. But I love it because it's not just the like the bedroom scene that every retro kit seems to be like it's actually something different. Um, I was going to save it for spring, but then I decided that it was actually more summer and I also didn't want to wait. Like I really just want to use it because I think it's so fun and different. So um, yeah, can't can't wait to use this. I feel like I've just been saying that nonstop, but it's really true. I'm, I love my lineup. Um, I just, I'm excited. And then it came with Glitter Hollow and some of my favourite bottom washi overlays um, of all time. So that was the August mystery from Glam Planner. And that is actually the last kit that I need to show you and talk about. So nice and quick, quick fire, got through. That is my January lineup and I'm really excited to, although I do love Halloween and Christmas, don't get me wrong. I'm kind of excited to go back into like seasonal kits. So summer and then of course my favorite um, season to plan is autumn. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. I can't wait to share these spreads with you guys on Instagram and I will see you on my next video. Bye.